Hello and welcome to Mickle Frost Minecraft. As you can see, I am not in my own world today. I thought I'd do something a little different. I am on the Shotbow server, I believe it's called, and we are going to be playing a bit of Mine Z. That's right, we're going to play Mine Z. Some of you might remember that I already did this uh, a long time ago. It's been a while, so there's probably been a lot of changes. Well, we're going to go in and play it. The first thing I'll probably do is kill myself. That sounded really fucked up. But I think that I might, I, since I already have played on this server and played Mine C, I might already have a character from a long, long time ago. So, I just want a fresh start. So let's go in. I think you just go in. Is this like a... No? How do I... How do one do shit? I do not know. Isn't that like supposed to be portals? Pit selector. What? Particle effect selector. Arm yourself. Change your appearance. Why would I change my appearance? I mean, I'm a fucking koala in a suit. That's right, Mr. S S S stuff. Hey. Yeah. You, you, you go away. Uh, sorry. How do I? Oh, should I need? Do I need to talk to these PVE? Oh, you can play PVE. Really? <gasps> play mine C. Mine C private. Uh, let's just do this. Wait, what? Ah. Oh, I wasn't supposed to take them. Oh shit! I'm in the world. Look at me. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to kill myself. I'm just gonna drown. Uh, that's actually. Uh, turn up the sounds a bit. Weather. Yeah, we want some weather sound. There we go. Not too much, not too much. That's too A, too much. There we go. Uh, how do I turn up environment? There we go. There we go. Done. Very professional. Setting, settings. Setting, settings? Huh. Okay, let's drown. Well, I'm not gonna drown in this. Go out further. They need to add sharks to Minecraft. They did add those big fish guardians or something. I haven't seen them yet. I mean, I have in videos, but not in game. I have a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna kill myself. I'm dying. I'm dying. Goodbye, cruel world. Ah, uh, I'm dead. And we're here in the hub. Let's see if anything has changed. And hoes. And I'm not gonna go through the rules. You can uh, you can read, pause the video and read this. But basically, this is a survival game where f with the world full of zombies, and you basically have to find different items. And different items have does something differently in uh, in this world. I I can go over them. For instance, this right here. These are the you healing items. And uh yeah. Let's how do I how do I start? Oh yeah, mine sees born. So yeah, th th this is really fun. I really love this. It's been ages since I played it. This is basically Daisy what? Too far away from spawn? Wait, what? Am I not supposed to write mine C spawn? Turn to the hub? No? Wait. I saw a sign. Where is this sign? Wait. I'm confused. Wasn't I just down in this end? How did I get down there? Uh, click here to spawn in. Okay. That's better. So now we're here. We got, as you can see, we got a sword. We got a water bottle. You need to drink. This is like you need to water. Uh, so you get you get thirsty and stuff like that. And this is my bandage. This is my eye of and the, if I hold this and type in the chat, everybody can in the whole world can hear me. If I just type in chat without holding it, only people close by. So that's a really cool thing. You can see if there's people close by. Um, 
19, as you can see my experience points, that is actually my thirst. And the, um, the, the lion beneath, beneath the, the, the other experience point thing is actually, you can see right here, now I'm at 20. Yay! But the other one is uh, how I am getting seen. So you need to be a little stealthy. And this is PvP, so other players can kill you. I remember use, when I used to play this, there sometimes was some really douchebags that would just wait at, p at areas where they knew people would spawn. And they would just kill them. Really stupid. Okay, here's a road. There's some... Oh, there's another guy. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Friendly. This is how you simple that you're friendly. Okay, cool. We're just gonna go each our way. But yeah, there are people who tend to just kill on sight. I think that if you kill a lot, you get like a red name or something like that. Oh, that's a zombie. I'm gonna stay far away from them. Zombies in this game can run really fast and that they are a little tougher than usual and I think they can poison you okay we need to find houses and stuff like that ruins and villages and houses because you can find chests and in these chests you can find items here's a town it looks like can be careful around towns for multiple reasons. There's more zombies if it's like abandoned towns, like this one. And if it's like a, a more populated town, there's more people. And they're actually more dangerous than the bandits. The bandits? Did I just say bandits? The zombies. Here's a chest. Let's uh, check what's in it. We get some arrows, a hoe, and a glass bottle. Nice. The glass bottle we can of course fill with water, so it now means we don't have to worry that much about water anymore, because we now have two water bottles. The hoe, I never got a hoe before, I, maybe I did, I don't know. But the hoe can be used to break a um, watermelon, so you have more food. Nice. Good chest. I said we need to be careful. I don't know how long I'll do this. And I might I might do this for a couple of videos. Who knows? Ooh, more bandages. Nice. Run the flesh. Ew. I think you might still you may, you may you could eat that, but I don't know if it's a great idea. Oh, we got some boots. Let's put on boots. What the flip? I already have armor. Let's uh, repair these boots on. I don't think that... I think it's a waste if I repair them further. Any chests out here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's... Ooh, antidote. This is if you get poisoned. Ooh, and a tunic. And I, I believe that some chests actually have zombies inside them. That's a little weird. But I guess it's to add to the, to the suspense or something like that. Ooh. Stop the, the Jaws music. Not many zombies. Oh shit! Oh, yes, I've killed a total of one zombies. I'm not sure if you actually heal. I think that you need to use healing items to heal. It's been ages since I played this. I don't really remember all the things. Can't really craft much in this. I think you can craft cookies. Maybe bread. Oh shit. Oh shit. And they're very observant. As you can probably shit, I'm gonna die. Very quickly. Oh my god, look at that. So zombies everywhere. Ah. Oh. Did I lose him? Okay. I think I lost him. 
I can't remember if bandages actually heal you. I don't believe so. I think they stop bleeding. You can bleed in this. So it's, it's really a hard, it's hardcore. They delete. It, they delete the server each time everyone, someone dies. <laughs> that would be really fucked up. Imagine if you made a hardcore server for like people to play on, multiple people, and each time just one person died, it it, it started over. Imagine how unpopular that per the first person who died was, or the second. <laughs> Everybody's just gotten that really nice. Oh shit! Everybody just got really nice buildings, and then oh, someone died. <laughs> oh, that zombie scared me. Oh, look at that bridge. It hasn't loaded in yet, but it looks awesome. I remember that bridge. Going to this lighthouse. This is a really night light night. Nice. Lighthouse. It is a night lighthouse as well. There's really not much purpose for lighthouses during the day. Unless it's... I heard a sound. Unless it's foggy. And lighthouses is a very good thing. There's also a giant in this. You know, the giant that is in Minecraft, but they never actually used in-game. Well, he's in this. Really? Not one chest? Why is this not burning down? I guess fire don't spread. Which is probably a good thing. If someone gets a, like a flint and steel, it would just burn down the whole server. But I guess they could just not, if they have, they could just not have flint and steel in the game. That would solve that problem, I guess. Let's see if there's anything in the other lighthouse. That's actually a lot of lighthouses very close to each together. That's a little bit unnecessary. Look at that, another lighthouse. Maybe they're not lighthouse. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Maybe they're just like towers with lights in them. Looks great. Don't know what the hell that was. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, maybe there's a hidden chest? No? My throat is a bit... Oh yeah, I'm at 10. Need to remember to check that. It's a good thing that they, like, give you a message about it. If I find one more bandage... I'm gonna try using one of them, but two is I, I wanna not waste them. Ow! But yeah, if I find one more, I wanna see if they heal me. I don't think they do. I think you need something else to actually heal. But like I said, I'm gonna try if I find one more. Uh -huh. Let's get up on that bridge. Oh shit. That means going close to the village. We might try getting one more chest in the village. But carefully, because there was a lot of zombies. I was surprised that they just gave up that easily, but that's a good thing, I guess. Okay. Let's do this. I have seen people, like, really getting chased by multiple zombies. It looks funny. Uh, I can't remember if in one of my other... I think maybe in one of my videos I have that. Or maybe that was someone else's video. I've seen it that much, I know. But I can't remember if I got it on video or not. Okay, carefully. Carefully. Zombies aren't always easy to spot. I thought, I thought I heard something. There was just water. The sound of water. Oh, there's a chest right here. Can I reach it? Yes. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Mm, okay, careful. The shears is also some kind of medical equipment, I believe. If you have, if you play with others, you can use shears, uh, red dye, which you can only find, you can't like do that to get it. 
Red, she has red dye and which is called something else in this. Oh shit! What are zombies? Red, uh, she has red dye and oh, you can't open the stoves. You used to, I think, and uh, a bandage. If you use oh healing ointment, it's called. Oh, maybe that one is would uh, cure me. Let's try it once we get the fuck out of here. Okay, let's just go over here. But yeah, if you use in the right order, use a bandage, healing ointment, and shears, you heal others uh, without losing any items. But that's, of course, only if you play with others. Sometimes people, uh, random strangers, are nice enough to... Oh, you need a button to get in here. But yeah, sometimes random strangers are nice enough to do that for you. But like I said, don't trust anybody in this game. Shit. Did someone see me? And of course doing this helps you sneak. Oh fuck. I'm just gonna take this chest. Ooh, antidote and an apple. And then let's swim. We're gonna swim away. Swim away, swim away, swim away. And <laughs> sorry, and let's get over to the bridge. Oh, we're hungry. Good thing we found an apple. Can I walk here? Oh, I can. I think that you lose less stamina from just walking. Uh, I don't know. This video probably won't be that long. I think let's get across the bridge and then I'll end the video and then we'll see if I don't know if I'll do two of these like in a row, but I'll probably do more of this. Because this is fun. Can I get up? I can get up over here. Oh, I should probably fill this. There you go. Oh, <laughs> I've only died of thirst once while playing this. And that was because I was in the middle of a fucking forest and I couldn't find any water anywhere. So it's a good thing to have multiple water bottles because sometimes you are like in an area that don't really have much water. I don't know if there's holes in this bridge. Let's try using this apple. Oh, that healed me a bit as well. Oh, nice. Let's actually not use the healing ointment then. Maybe I'll find more apples. Okay, let's uh, talk about today's videos, which is Duke Nukem 3D. Now... <laughs> kind of ironic in the like in the end of the final video I talk about uh, how many videos I want to put out and stuff like that and uh, it's like and I talk about if uh, because I talk uh, oh shit about uh, if I'm close to the end I might put out extra videos because I don't want to put out too few videos well it turned out that I didn't really count because with that well because it w I only recorded two videos when I ended I thought I was on three. I don't know why I thought that. So you only get two Duke Nukem videos today. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but uh, tomorrow, new game starting. Yeah, exciting stuff. New game. I haven't been getting a lot of views lately. I don't know why. I'm not. I haven't dropped in subscribers. But oh well. The main thing is, I'm still having fun doing this, so I'm gonna continue. Even if I don't get views. Let's, uh. Let's get across this bridge as well, and then I'll end it. I think that's, uh. I don't wanna make this video too long. Either. <laughs> I never really played that much, Mario. I played one game and I completed it. That was the first one. I mean, the first Super Mario Brothers. I played uh, Mario Brothers, the the original, the first Mario Brothers. You know where you was oh, supposed to flip turtles, <laughs> turtle flipping with Mario. Uh, that was an amazing game. I had that on my Atari Twenty Six Hundred. That was a really fun game. I really like that. I spent so many hours playing that. 
But I really, I should play some of the other Mario games. But there's so fucking many of them. I, re I recently started playing, uh, actually a couple of days ago, I started playing GTA 3. I never played any of the GTA games. I played the first one, and I played like 15 minutes of uh, 3 before, uh, before, whoa, a town. But I've never really, uh, other than that, I haven't really played. So, it's pretty exciting. I like it so far. There are some things that I really don't like. Like, for instance, that if you fail your mission, you have to s go back and get the mission again. And some of these missions you can only get at certain points of the day. Also, your car spin out way too easily. It's like you hit something, oh, you spin in, like, fucking... Five minutes. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. I'm not gonna, gonna go in town. But, uh, oh! Well, that was dumb. Let's live under this bridge, be a troll. Uh, so yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun game, GTA. But remember, later today, do Nukem 3D. And tomorrow, new game. Let's actually go down and fill this water bottle. And then... Maybe there's a hidden chest here. This I would have hidden a chest here. I guess no one else would. What's my other water bottle? Why is it up there? Anyway, I will see you tomorrow for more Minecraft and a little bit later for more gaming today. Bye.